Doesn't she look fabulous? So nice, yes. <laughs> you can take more than one scarf to make a complete outfit. See, if we didn't have these, we'd be plain Jane. But now, we're complete with our looks. Lisa is demonstrating look one, and I'm going to show you how to do it. You would take your scarf and place it around your shoulders, like so. Jessica is wearing look two. So what you're going to do first for this look, you're going to have it nice and open and pressed. And then where you like the best, we're going to fold it in that center. So we have this right here, nice and thin. Then wherever we'd like one of the nice ladies to show, full on. We're going to take it, put it around our necks. Just an easy twist right here. Put it right like this. And flip your hair. And this is what we have. Beautiful and long tassels hanging and having some fun. So Lisa just demonstrated look two. Now I'm going to demonstrate look three. I like a little pizzazz, so I like to add some jewelry to my scarves. So what I'm going to do is take this little clip here. I'm going to pull out the part where it's at my neck. And I'm going to clip it. And then I'm going to pull it nice and tight. Now I feel ready to party. In look three, we clipped the jewelry. Now in look four, we're going to thread our jewelry through our scarf. How I like to do this is I go to the end where the tassels are. I twist the tassels a little bit so it's easier to thread through. I take my jewelry that I like. This one's a heart, you know, in case Valentine's Day or you have a date with your man. You push it through. <laughs> you grab the thread. And now we're going to do the same thing as we did in look two. So I'm going to make sure it's nice and center. And then I'm going to put the piece where the jewelry is right where my neck is. And I'm going to twist it in the back. Come around to the front and then I'll fix it in the mirror just how I like it. After I flip my hair, of course. And now I'm ready for Valentine's Day. Now we're going to do look five. <laughs> First, you're going to fold it over so you see the beautiful ladies. Then you're going to take it, you're going to fold it over again like this. Then you're going to wrap it around your neck like so. You're going to pull it through, take out that hair, look in the mirror, make sure everything's okay. Like so, straighten it out, and you got it. Sometimes I like to add a little bling too. So I'm going to take this beautiful piece right here, and all I'm going to do is place it right in the center here, like so. Perfect it. Look in the mirror. Move that hair back, and there you go. There's look six. Yeah. This will be look number seven. Okay. So if you notice, we've changed things up a bit. We have shorter scarves and there's no French. And we're going to twist things up literally. This is similar to look one, but I'm going to take the longer end of my scarf, flip it over the top of the shorter end, and then I'm going to thread it through the top like so. And then I'm going to fix my over notch so I have the nice side of my scarf showing and I'm ready for a day out. Now we're moving into look eight. Now if this scarf looks a little familiar to you, it's because it is the painting by our talented creator, Sharon Tatum. Now I'm gonna show you if it's too hot for a blazer, but still a little too chilly to wear nothing, you can make this scarf into a shawl by placing it around your shoulders like so. Now for look nine, you guessed it, we're adding some jewelry. So I'm gonna take the corner of my shawl I'm going to thread it through my piece of jewelry. And all I'm going to do is grab the other corner and make a little knot. This is actually quite nice because it helps keep the shawl together on your shoulder. So if it's a windy day, it won't blow off anywhere. And you put it in the center like so. This is going to be look 10. Very simple one. We're going to do is place it on our hands like so, neatly folded. And they're going to take it, go like this. You can 
See, I'm bringing it around right here. Put it in the middle where you'd like. Flip out your hair, of course. And bring it down a little. And this is what you got. Now we're moving right on into look 11. And now for this look, we're going to use a lighter chiffon scarf that's perfect for summer. I'm going to put it around my shoulders and change it up a little bit by throwing it over my right shoulder. And in order to stop it from moving around, I'm going to take my jewelry and clip it like so. Move my hair, fix my scarf, and now I'm ready. Men aren't the only ones that can wear ties. For our 12th look, I'm going to show you how to wear your scarf as a tie. You're going to put it around your shoulders like so. You're going to make sure that there's a shorter end and a longer end. With the longer end, you're going to cross over the front. Throw it all the way around your hand over the top, through the middle, coming up, and then you're going to thread it through the hole that you just created with your tie. So you have it, you can wear it loose like this, or you can tighten it all the way to the top, flip your hair out, and make sure that you do get that promotion. Now for look 13, Lisa blinged it up. Something men can't do with their ties. I'm going to take my jewelry clip and thread it right through the top and clip it like so. Now if you want a day out at the park or at the beach, I'm going to show you how you can spice it up your hat with look number 14. You're going to take your pre-tied scarf and you're going to place it around the top of the hat like so. You can tighten it to make sure that it is not going to go anywhere in the wind and place it on my head. There you go. I want to fix it so that my roses are showing. And now we're ready for a stroll at the park. 